Dear students, welcome back to the video lecture of Atomic Absorption Spectrophotometer. In the previous video lecture, we come to know about the uh, instrumentation part of Atomic Absorption Spectrophotometer and also about the applications of AAS instrument. Now let us begin about the experimental method for the measurement of any element present in sample solution by the help of atomic absorption spectrophotometer. Let us begin with some important principles. The first one is the technique uses basically the principle that free atom or gas generated in an atomizer can absorb the radiation at, sp at specific frequency. The atomic absorption spectroscopy uses the absorption of light to measure the concentration of the atoms present in the gaseous state. The third point, the analyte atoms or the ions must be vaporized in the flame since the sample uses usually in the form of liquid state or maybe in the form of solid state. And then fourth point is what of the principle the atoms are going to absorb the ultraviolet or visible light and the energy is what this energy of light can excite the elements to move from ground state to the excited state as a result of transition which is taking place electronically in the various levels of the elements. The fifth point is what the absorption of energy by the pre atoms of the sample is formed by the flame is directly proportional to the concentration of the atoms formed in the flame and it is also governed by the that, that is what the beer Lambert's law what we have studied in the calorimetric estimation of copper. Now let us discuss now about the experimental method of uh, how to begin the uh, this atomic absorption spectrophotometer by taking particular sample. Uh, let us say the point number one. 0 0.037 gram of calcium chloride 2 hydrate powder is weighed by using the electronic balance. Second point, 100 ml of stock solution is prepared whose concentration is considered to be 100 ppm. So in this regard, whatever the quantity is expressed, that quantity of salt, if it is dissolved by the little amount of digital water and transferred into uh, 100 ml volumetric plus and it is diluted with the help of digital water, the concentration is what becomes to 100 ppm. And third point, whatever the stock solution is prepared by following the second step, so which is what uh, used for the series of dilutions in the order to prepare series of standard solutions of decreasing concentration. Let us discuss here 20 ppm concentration. 15 ppm concentration, 10 ppm concentration, 5 ppm and 0 and unknown sample which you are interested to determine is also considered. And all the standard solutions are prepared that is 20 ppm, 15, 10, 5 and 0 ppm. So all the solutions are prepared in 50 ml volumetric flask by taking known volume of respective above 100 ppm stock solution. Then fourth point is the atomic absorption spectrophotometer is turned on and the instrument is what select software selected because this is operated with the help of the uh, software basic instrument particular software is selected for to operate the instrument. Fifth point is the flame and hollow cathode lamps have been started and which is confirmed that whether both are started or not. Point number six, the sucking tube which is connected to the AAS is placed into the blank solution. I mean to say this is what the digital water. So which is the digital water and soaked approximately 30 seconds to set the zero value on the detector. Point number seven, each of the diluted sample solution from lower to the higher concentration is introduced and it is soaked soaked into the uh, with the help of nebulizer and uh, uh, and 
for every sample the intensity is observed and it is recorded in the particular tabular column then point number 8 record the intensity of unknown sample also which is you are interested to determine then point number 9 the calibration of graph is based on the intensity readings and the, and the concentration of the sample what is used for all the five standard solutions then the graph is plotted let us begin before the graph is plotting discuss about the tableau column here the sample solutions how we are prepared sample number one two three four five and this is what the unknown and in first class zero ppm calcium chloride dihydride that means without adding the salt that 50 ml distilled water is only is used for this one and here without salt this is what we can say the blank solution that is what 0 ppm then second class contains 5 ppm stock solution as 5 ppm concentration like third plus 10 15 20 and so on and this is what unknown sample which is provided for you from the for the analysis from the various sectors and read the absorbance for all the solutions and including unknown solution and note down the values from the atomic resorption spectrophotometer display system then you have to plot the graph absorption is taken along the y scale and concentration as I explained in terms of ppm is taken along the x scale you are able to get the set of five points and join the points it is observed that almost all points are going to uh, fast in the straight line passes through the origin this is what about the verification of BL Lambert's law and here for unknown sample you will become to knowing what is the unknown absorption value and from that if you draw the straight line it cuts any point on the curve which passes through the origin from that if you draw the perfect line to the x scale where it intersects on the x scale that is the unknown concentration of the sample solution which is selected for the analysis from the curve concentration of unknown solution is evaluated by knowing the absorbance and then you have to calculate the concentration or absorbance you know the absorbance absorbance equal to what slope into the C or absorbance equal to what slope into the concentration if you want to calculate the concentration you absorbance is divided by slope will be come to knowing the concentration of the unknown sample from the experiment so this is what about the uh, instrumental methods of atomic oscillation spectrophotometer moving to the the next part of this AAS is advantages of atomic absorption spectroscopy the first one is it does not suffer from spectral interference which occurs in the flame emission spectroscopy so it means you have one more technique flame emission spectroscopy is one more technique so there is what uh, what happens several spectral lines if they are present they will interfere for the analysis but that is not that problem is not considered in atomic absorption spectroscopic technique then second disadvantage is what it is independent of the flame temperature temperature doesn't change the property of analysis only it makes the uh, conversion of the liquid droplet to tiny residue then tiny residue is going to decompose to form the atoms and totally it is independent upon the flame temperature third point by atomic absorption technique traces of any element can be easily determined in the presence of higher concentration of other elements also so hence we can check every small concentration of any element in any material or any sample of the solution can be analyzed much more accurately In point number four it has proved very successful in the analysis of branch and alloys and in the determination of metals like platinum and gold it means this technique is used to check the purity of the ornaments which are made by the platinum and gold okay uh, by the goldsmith let us discuss about the disadvantages of atomic absorption spectroscopy this technique has not proved very successful for some elements like 
vanadium, silicon, molybdenum, titanium, aluminum because these elements are going to form the oxides and oxide formation will interfere the uh, analysis and therefore you are not able to get more accurate results for such elements. Second one, in aqueous solution, the anions can affect the signal which to the noticeable degree. Means anions are going to interfere in the analysis. And a separate lamp is needed for the determination of each lamp. The attempts are made in, attempts are making now to overcome this difficulty we are to use continuously constant source but still the technology has to be made to improve this is what about the disadvantages of atomic absorption spectrophotometer now in the next video lecture I will come to know the one more instrumental technique that is called flame emission spectroscopy technique or flame photometry technique thank you one and all